let's quickly get through um, another session of making part eight um, in orthographic production. So in the first part, uh, first video, we made the side view. Um, so that is looking uh, sideways at this piece of plastic. Um, so uh, uh, the top view here will be uh, looking at it from above and the front view uh, from the front that away, okay? Um, and in essence, we are just looking at a, um, a rectangle this way and from above another rectangle. They are slightly more complicated than just rectangles, but um, we'll, we'll get th through that. Um, so, um, let's get cracking without further ado. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these away. So I'll show you how to make them one by one. And we'll start with the front view, I think. So um, uh, what we know is that the thickness of the material of the plastic, it's a three millimeter. Um, it isn't just as straightforward as that because we have got obviously uh, seven holes in there. We also got some uh, pockets cut in. Um, the reason why we cut in pockets like that um, is to save weight and save material uh, without compromising the strength of the plastic. Okay, so uh, although there is less plastic uh, in this piece, the, it's, it's equally as strong um, due to the way it has been constructed. Um, we've got some uh, support pieces here and here, um, and it, it should uh, be um, you know as strong as it's needed for what what it's used for. I mean, in essence, it's it's from a a toy kit, um, a Meccano uh, construction kit. Um, so uh, when we look at it, either from above or from the front, uh, these will not be visible to us unless it was made of glass or see-through plastic. Um, but we still need to indicate that the features are there. So anything like a hole or a pocket uh, is a feature. That's how it's known in engineering terms. Um, so what we need to do is, uh, first of all, um, do the outline of the front view and I said uh, three millimeter thick and 18.7 tall. So let's uh, put the grid lock on and uh, we are on relative here. That's good. And I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool and plonk it on a dot. And I need to change the line to a solid. And black color thank you very much and then I can just dial in so three millimeter thick remember two to one scale six and we're gonna go 18.7 down uh, so that's 37.4 um, 37.4 Okay, uh, and this is the, in essence, the front view. It's not lined up properly here now, but uh, let's just double check that. So I'll put my trusted uh, attach tool on here and see if we can get a, uh, yes, three millimeter. That's perfect. And let's check the, um, I'm going to pull it to the side here. 18.7. Okay, that's good. And in fact, what I'm going to do is pull that out here so the dimension is actually not touching on the drawing. Then we're going to line, um, line this up um, with uh, the top edge here. So I'm going to just select all of it. It might not do the dimensions properly, but we can adjust them later. Uh, click on my align uh, tool, and we want that to be in, aligned with the top here. So I'm clicking on the top line there. And yes, it snaps into place nicely. Um, 
just need to adjust that. And uh, I'll tell you what, before I'm going to start dragging on it, I'm going to put the um, radio lock on so that I only move it in one direction, not sideways, which means that this should hopefully. And skewed about a little bit sideways. Didn't want that to happen, did I? Oh, radio lock has gone out of. Right, no, that's fine. Excellent. Right, okay, I'll leave that there. Um, now. Uh, this is where the slightly more advanced part uh, comes in and this is where your merits and distinctions obviously kick in as well. Uh, so I did mention that we can't see these pockets from the front view, but we indicate them as hidden detail. Um, I also know that uh, these pockets go one millimeter in uh, from each side, so it's a symmetric um, feature. Um, so what we shall do then is, as usual, uh, we're going to put up uh, a couple of uh, rulers or dimensions for us, one millimeter here and one millimeter on that side. So I'm going to get rid of that for the time being because it's uh, it, it'll be a bit crowded there. So let's uh, grab a, a vertical, no, we want a horizontal dimension. I'm going to snap my little uh, attach tool on there so I make sure I get exactly into that corner and and I want a distance of two millimeter remember two to one scale and that means I need to zoom in so I can get more accuracy two millimeter there and I'm gonna pull it to the side like so. Yes, perfect. Now, ideally I should have them side by side, but that is gonna be messy. Uh, so I am gonna put the other on the other side down at the bottom. So snap into the corner, make sure I'm on radial lock. And I want, again, a two millimeter. I said, if you've got trouble aligning it up properly, you zoom in more and you get more accuracy. And I'm going to pull it to that side. So I've now got two nice little uh, markers or rulers for me to um, make the first um, lines uh, for the hidden detail. Um, what I want is these nice little straight lines, which we can see there. So I'm going to pull that up a bit there. And I'm going to do the same with that one. I'm going to pull that down. This is just to help me out like so, because these lines are very useful. Um, I don't have to touch the drawing still so I'm gonna move that up there and this one down here right so the first thing we're gonna do is get uh, because this is the thickness of the pockets here right so they they go one millimeter in so we're just gonna line up two straight lines um, I can uh, well to make sure that they are perfectly uh, vertical what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a um, uh, so 18.7 I'm going to put in a 40 millimeter and a 90 degree angle line uh, let's take that off Where's my line? There's my line. Okay, and that has to be a dotted line because there's hidden details. So we go into line and 
we don't want that dotted line we want a two millimeter pitch perfect and what i'm going to do is i'm going to line it up Ooh. so that it hits exactly on that one millimeter mark there okay then what i can do is copy it because it's vertical so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to do the same here i'm just gonna oops bring that so that it hits exactly on that line there click that off and i've now got the, th the thickness or the depth of the pockets so uh, i'm just going to tidy up a bit use my delete tool doesn't matter if that disappears i can add them on later on just want to tidy those bits there up okay uh, okay so what do i need to do now i need to do the same again with projection lines uh, so because we're using projection lines uh, we're gonna have to change the color uh, anything to do with dimension or projection lines we use those uh, or draw them in different color first to make sure um, that they are not part of the drawing because it can be very confusing uh, I want to start on this line here okay so I'm just gonna make sure I snap into that corner if it'll let me yes perfect radio lock on and I'm, I'm just gonna pull that line all the way through just leave it like that at the moment same with the top here I'm gonna snap into that corner there and pull that all the way through there oh i won't snap because i left that on i shouldn't have left that on should i silly me good sake off yes 2d design tools is buggy oh this version uh, unfortunately probably better if you are working on a proper pc not a virtual pc right so i'm going to take that off and that on thank you play ball with me like so and uh, what else would we see in uh, this pocket uh, we would actually see that corner as well this is quite a sharp corner so i'm gonna try to snap into that corner well not see but it's there yeah it's done it okay so it's hidden detail we're after here now okay things that we don't necessarily see but is there and snap into that corner oh, what happened then has it gone all weird on me i'm trying to pull that off oh. yes it has gone weird on me very weird indeed um, okay so i'm gonna escape that make sure that it hits exactly where i want it to hit on yes and uh, no all right so i have to do this manually that's okay you and there and yes it does look a bit messy but hey 
Um, what else do I need to do? Uh, oh, the bottom bit as well. Uh, so the bottom pocket. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to indicate the pockets in one view and the holes in a, in a different view. So that's that's what we'll do because else it's just going to get terribly messy. Um, let's get back in here. And that is fine. And we also see that one. And we see that bottom corner. It doesn't matter which of the corners I pull on to there because it's a horizontal line anyway and uh, I think that is probably just about it in terms of the corners we see uh, no we also will see that top line there I need to do one more and then we're gonna tidy up then it will hopefully make sense Okay, now we can start tidying up. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of those outside lines. Make sure you use the delete tool with a broken line, by the way. Yeah, That means we can take uh, single uh, disconnected lines um, or we disconnect from there. So uh, what am I going to do now is that these pockets, they don't go all, they don't go, go all the way through. They go in one millimeter from each side. So that means we are cutting these bits as well away. And then we can get rid of all of these here. Okay, uh, so I'm not keeping the projection lines. I just use them to help me out. You might want to include that in your report that you use them. And now we're going to switch to the uh, delete tool that deletes all of the lines because I want to get rid of all of that, 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 and so on. Okay. Um, now these lines are blue. That's no good. So we're going to change all of that to a black dotted lines, okay? In fact, I think we can probably change the pitch a bit more, uh, a bit less rather. So let's see if one millimeter, one meter will come up nicer. Uh, yeah, but we want the outside one to be solid. So one millimeter pitch on the hidden lines, the hidden detail and a solid outline. I hope this makes sense now. So we are imagining and when we look in front of this, oh, uh, need to repair that one. So I'm going to connect that one and that one together. So just snap those together. That's better. Um, yeah, so when we imagine we're looking at uh, for, for in, at, the, at the front of this, we uh, we imagine the pockets to be visible. Uh, they're not visible, but they're there. There's no doubt that the pockets are there, but the lines of them will show up like this. Okay. Um, and that's uh, apart from a bit of dimensioning here now. Um, so let me do one for you. We, we don't want to go crazy with the dimensioning, but we do need some dimensions. Uh, we already done the one uh, millimeter there, and I probably will restore the one millimeter dimension down here. 
Yeah. Um, so we know that they go one millimeter in from each side. Um, what else? Um, I'm feeling I've done something not quite right here. Uh, no, I think we're good. Right. Um, so a few vertical dimensions. So for example, this one here. Okay. And this, the reason why we would do this is this is an engineering drawing. It has to be produced in a factory. So, you know, we we need to have all the dimensions so whoever makes these and makes the tools for us can uh, do this as accurately as possible um, so to make it a bit on the tidy side we um we choose uh, not to put all dimensions on one side but we do them kind of uh, alternate uh, so that it's a little bit easier to, to read the uh, um, engineering drawing, if that makes sense. Okay, and see I'm using the attach command here now, so that it snaps into the corners and we get accurate dimensioning. That is uh, the front view done. Okay, thank you.